This team just has a different culture um, compared to the last couple years. The chemistry between everybody is very strong. It's one unified team and I think that shows on the field as far as practice goes and the intensity in the big situations when we're tied 1-1 in the 90th minute and we either make a game-saving tackle or a, or a game-winning goal and I think that's really gonna be our strong suit this season. Unity within the team and it, that goes a long way. I mean we have a lot of guys still that can have a lot of fun. We lost a lot of personality but at the same time when guys are ready to work we have a lot of hard workers so there's a good mix of of being ready to go on the field, but then also having that joking part. Uh, some of the younger guys that you know got playing time last year, you know, the Lache, Kyle Rutz, myself, we have much bigger roles coming into the season this year. And then the guys that you know have been here for a while have reaffirmed their roles. Getting Kevin Cope back, you know, he's such a dominant force in the air and in the back line. That's really going to help, you know, our, our goalie situation. You know, we lost Jeremy Clark last year; it was you know such a brick wall for us, and uh, you know they're battling out right now to find out who's going to be our number one, but. You know, with that back line, you know, it's experienced and dominant, you know, I think we're going to be comfortable no matter who we play. We, we definitely gained a lot of talent with the Ben and ZB coming in early, so we got to see a little bit of that. And then all the freshmen who came in, and, and they can all play, and they've done so well, both personality-wise and being open, too. They, they've done really well. And I think Damon has been doing a good job of getting everybody in situations where they can be competing for the starting job and where that competition is pushing people to play at the highest level and these freshmen, there's a couple of them that could be starters, there's a couple of them that could come off the bench and be an impact player and I think having those roles is crucial for them and will make them understand that they are a part of this team and they're a big part of this team. We play the best in the country, you know, Damon's not afraid to you know, schedule anybody you know, in the country. You know, we, we've shown that we can go to the big schools, Indiana, Akron, and we can get results. We tied at Indiana last year, went and beat Akron in their you know, their home unbeaten streak of four, year, four or five years. What we showed last year is we can definitely compete with anybody in the country, but we have to stay consistent. We play UConn right off the bat, Notre Dame, Akron, all those teams. It's a good spot for us to look at ourselves and see where we're at. Once we get those big wins, it's gonna be a huge confidence boost. And when that happens, I, I think our team's just gonna keep going and not look back. We're not, we're not afraid to play anybody. They've always both planned hard schedules year in and year out, and I think being a freshman and playing in those big games and the Big Ten games, that really got me going. After three years playing, those are the games that I live for and, I, and I've, been, I've been waiting for it. It's all about confidence, so uh, going into my second year, you know, I'm trying to avoid the sophomore slump and you know, with this kind of locker room, these coaches, I'm really confident that you know, I'm going to have another really strong year individually and that's going to help the team you know, reach our ultimate goals. Everybody on this team has a role and they need to understand that and if each person can play that role perfectly, then we're going to be we're going to be a team to beat, and that's, that's awesome for Michigan State soccer.